Good morning students. Welcome back to social study class. Today I have prepared a few slides on the origin, development and necessity of society. In case you must be wondering why are we starting the fresh brand new chapter instead of continuing our previous chapter that is introductions to population and demographic situation. I am certain that you must be bored of our continuously learning chapter, the same chapter and again and again. And I have come up with an idea that instead of continuing our the previous chapter, I thought it would be more um, interesting and um, learning opportunity for you to switch to a brand new chapter that is uh, origin, development and necessity of society. Well, we will continue our previous chapter after some time. And I hope that my ideas works and bring about some positive changes in you. Moving on to our today's lesson, that is origin, development and necessity of society. So basically in this chapter, we will learn about how the our societies are developed in which uh, phase of or in, or in which stages of uh, development we have faced in our society so the first one is introduction to society we all are familiar with the word called society because we live in a society so society is an extended social group having a distinctive culture economy organization or voluntary associations of individuals for common ends especially an organized group working together or periodically meeting because of common interest, belief or profession. Society is an extended group. It is a very extended group having a very distinctive culture, economic uh, organizations, very simple dua. Society lana is an extended group the chambu dua. Jun Jun Chipu Maja Society Lana Nanzi King Moma um explain to one Nang Shingi Society Lana Nanzi Kim the Chibu Society Chaki Maja Society Lana Community Community Dinza Sanga Nanzigi Niam do collect Chana and Turu the Learning Nanzigi Society Chaki Resua. So society is an extended group of a uh, group having a distinctive culture, culture in a law, law, your raw culture, Chipu Chipu Niam the theory raw, law, law in a law, law separately theodore and economic organizations all a voluntary association of individuals for common ends lana voluntary lana susi ki volunteer ki thoni chopa din jo lena roa volunteer ki thoni niam de la chi res roa for common ends especially an organized organized group working together or periodically lana day by day meeting chi res roa or chopa din jo ina yang niam de la la chi do kapsla Organized so periodically meeting so conduct she is lana periodically lana day to day so meeting so la kuzigi present she is la to because of consider lana of the common interest so siki belief chikpa yung sigiris ra interest yung sigiris and profession the laga di chikpa yung sigiris they involve in each other activities regardless of regardless of caste creed sex language and economic status which is very simple. Regardless, regardless of caste, khandi ina re raw, creed na religion whether you are a Hindu, Buddhist, Christians, raw, Jain, Sikh, whichever religions you are raw, whether you are a male or female, or whether you speak Tibetan, uh, whether you speak American, um, Hispanic, uh, Spanish, khandi ki khandi kya na dua in economic sector, rich, poor, middle class, khandi ina dua. We involve in each other activities. So society is a simple way, it is a simple way, but society is a very extended group, it 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 is a very extended 
Yadan the examples, ngajo society na ngajo pova indu pova group chipa tida. It is similar to the Nepali society na Nepali na ngolo society the society re ro ina ya na ngolo the distinctive cultures na economic organizations cultures the loga loga yuto theta ngi group theta the loga loga here is like Himalayan na hilly na try light to examples ngajo. Next is the origins of the society. Origins of the society means how the society is actually formed, how the society is actually originated. Seven million years back, human lineage are uh, human lineage like separated from the chimpanzees or the apes, and after that, human evolutions started. Initially, human beings were similar to each other's creature. They had no sense of unity in the past. The present human society is developed and a complex society. But human society in the very beginning was simple and unorganized. The hominins in the primitive age live in the forest with each other animal. Their life is difficult. Fulfillment of basic needs totally dependent upon nature. They had encounter with wild animals. So when we talk about the origins of the society, the things that should come in your mind is the in the primitive age, in the primitive age Lana Nazuki, Moma Momaki, Tetan Chiklavara, um, primitive learner relating to the characters of an early stage Nangnola. In the primitive age, we tend to live or we used to live uh, in the forest with, with other animals. And during that time, our life was very difficult and we had a constant scare that the, uh, our life is always in the rigs. Because even if we go for a hunting, there is a risk that the wild animals might attack you. During those times, we had no sense of a unity in the unity. And at that time, the life was very simple and unorganized. And uh, for the fulfillment of the basic need, we totally depend upon the nature. During those time or during those days, we used to wear um, leaves or the bark of tree to cover our body. And for the um, and for the survival, we tends to hunt for we tends to hunt animals. Gradually, he hominins started to live in small bands and started collective hunting. This situation, this situation contributed to sharing their feeling and collective life. Gradually means slowly. Slowly, hominins. Hominins means you can refer yourself a hominins, or you can you are a person, and but you can call yourself a hominins. Because hominins are the group of primates that includes humans, gorillas, and chimpanzees. We are the originated from the chimpanzees and the gorillas. Because of that, you can call yourself a, we are the mixture or we are the hybrid of the gorillas, chimpanzees, and apes, whatever we call we are the hominins and the hominins started to live in a small band small bands means small group and started a collective hunting collective means group hunting this situation contributed to sharing their feeling and collective life the feeling of we and the feeling of collective life started from the origins of the sins from the origins of the society. Savagery age. You must be heard of the word savage in many times in music as well. 
savage means wild or uncivilized so the middle phase is called the savagery age this middle phase means the middle means the middle period is called the savagery age savagery lana uncivilized or we can also call a wild leather W I L D Wal or Kita Sinji Nashinki Dug Lai Dua the Nashinki D H K Kaps Lama the core la shake it low. So during this phase or during this stage people gradually or slowly shifted towards the river bank from the dense or the thick forest area. People who existed by hunting, gathering and fishing often live in bands of organized society. In the van, they started to share the feeling of happiness and hardship to each other. Similarly, they had to be protected from the invasion of wild animals. Collective effort. So, savagery age basically means that the, the age of wild animals or a wild period. During this period, people slowly shifted towards the um, river banks or the side of the river. The basic or the main reasons to shift towards the river bank was to cultivate a, or to cultivate a land because um, at the time people have identified or uh, found that if we cultivate or if we plant um, like fruits herbs or whatever we eat it tends to get we get a uh, more products from this side of the river bank which is uh, which was already found or which was already um found that it the river banks tends to be more fertile as compared to other lands people who existed by hunting gathering and fishing often live in bands of organized society so for the hunting one cannot go alone for hunting At the time, people have already developed the feeling of we and people started hunting, gathering and fishing. They go in a band, which means they go in a group or small group of a people. At the time, people share the feeling of happiness, hardship to each other. And they had to be pro protected from the invasion of wildlife. Invasions means occupations or takeover. You must be uh, similar with the word invasions. Invasions means uh, China occupied our land in 1959. Like the China ki China We had to. They had a scared. They had a feeling that we. They had to stay. Um, in a group or in a band in order to protect from the invasion from the wild animals now only means like capture chiri lamni do sikire samni shinangi you do kapsla ni krong krong ki means the group nyam tala theko re lani you do kapsla in the feeling the sora the liyo re swa and this you put me wa sadness and happiness ki time la nyam to thi re swa So the evolutions of these societies. Evolutions of the societies means the development of the societies. The human society has developed over many years and experienced many changes and states in, since its origin. The history of human society goes back millions of years looking across an expanded life of human existence the human society 
जी क्या अपना दुआ भी ह्यूमन सोसाइटी हैज डेवलप ओवर द मेनी इयर्स रॉ एंड एक्सपीरियंस आ ह्यूमंगस चेंजेस बैट क्रॉन चेंजेस पे हम बोल रहे हैं रॉ सेवन मिलियन इयर्स बैक अगो ले जी क्या अपना दुआ मंजू एप्स तंग एप्स ने ह्यूमन लीनेज दिखा चला ना सेपरेट चल रहे हैं रॉ एंड दिंग मोर की जी क्या अपना दुआ लो टू लोंग आ डिनिशन दि� एप्स तंग शिम्बा दिन जो हाइब्रिड चाने ने मंजू की ह्यूमन दी आ तंदा होमिनिन लाइट दो मंजू की होमिनिन चाके और रे वा The famous anthropologists E. B. Taylor and L. H. Morgan had presented three major stages of the human society. The human society now lola changes the mango chatu kapsla stages the manzu ke kyaan ki konyo ke re stone age tang animal rearing age tau tang industrial age tau tang science and technology age kyaan ki class six la familiar yu re roa yi na yaan dela yaan tis chiki loa broad wood वो दिच्छिक दिच्छिक तो दुआ की तो ले रहे रोन के लिए तो ना यहाँ पर चेन निरोची लाई The famous anthropologist की anthropolo anthropologist means the the person who studies anthropology is called anthropologist anthropology means the person who um study the science of the human human का जो कोर्ट ला चंगे ला anthropology लाई के रेस्ट रोआ अनि खुरांग तो आंग अनि अ फेमस एंट्रोपोलॉजिस्ट चंगे ह्यूमन कोर्ट ला चंगे ईबी टेलर दं एलएच मॉर्गन की मेजर स्टेजेस सुम ह्यूमन सोसाइटी नालो ला पे इम्पोर्टेंट मेजर स्टेजेस सुम दी कोर्ट ला कुछ की था इंडिशन एक्सप्लेन चाहिए रेस तो आ सो द फर्स्ट वन इस सेवेजरी अ स्टेज और स्टोन एज रा सेकंड वन इस बारबरिज्म थर्ड वन इस सिविलाइज्ड सोसाइटी विच इस मॉडर्न सोसाइटी अ मंजे चिक चिक चीने न मंजे की जेते शेक आप कोड रा सो दिस इस द स्टोन एज स्टोन एज कब्ज ला ह्यूमन बीइंग की यूज्ड टू लीव इन द केव्स एंड हंट फॉर एनिमल हंट एनिफोर एनिमल्स फॉर लिविंग रा The most preliminary stage of the human society is to started around 2.5 million years ago. So the human society, the basically the human society started around the 2.5 million years ago. In this stage, human were grouped together in a small scale or small band society such as called Kalaso Band Laidwa. One thing you should keep in mind that in the first stages or in the savagery stages, there was an invention. So invention means it's creating something totally new with one's own idea and development. For example, we can take a simple example like how Thomas Edison invented the light bulb. Manjugi Thomas Edison's the ki kha invent chilla na? light bulb di nganjo ki log di invention ra so invention is totally new things ra that comes within own mind or own idea or development cha ke nganjo rest ra so din jo idea din jo di khawa ni nganjo tangbo ni khaw ni like invention khande khande do chir la na first di nganjo le invention di fire invention cha to us ra the use of arrow nganjo ki da ke ra nganjo do di do kaps darang nganjo ki chung ke rest ra da ke ra di mostly di khang chit la na nganjo ki hunting purpose share fire di khala survival chit che and both the survival right so poetry were the major achievements on of this stage poetry la na nganjo ki zama da on sweat do wa savagery age la na wild age re ra in this age people have already invented Fire, the use of arrow, pottery were the major achievements of these stages. So, the major features of the savagery age, Lana, the major characteristics of the savagery age, the country country, Lana, like animal, human lives used to live in a forests and caves we can totally uh, compare or consider human just like an animal because in our early stages like or in our savagery stages people or human used to live in the forest and caves 
for the survival uh, or human for the survival human hunted animals and gathered leaves roots of plants as well as wild cereal grain in natural environment for food and livelihood tools and weapons were used for the tech for the hunting and the security purpose at that time or at that savagery stages people have already developed the techniques of using the stone tools and weapons for hunting and security purpose stones bones and teeth were used to make tools and weapons such as hand axes axe, clubs and spears, bows and arrows, hooks, etc. At the savagery stage or in, in the savagery stage, they have already invented the fire by striking stones and gradually means slowly developed cooking. They use fish for food, including crabs, missiles, and other aquatic animals so crabs missiles and other aquatic animals are the these all are the discoveries they are not inventions they all discoveries means recognizing something that already existed for the first time that nobody has found for example we can say that the christopher columbus found or discovered America, which means that Christopher Columbus ki America di discover chire lai dua. America di ngoma ni yuri raya shugla discover chad lava nang shingi crabs, missiles and other aquatic life sinzo animals sinzo ngoma ni yuri but later raani human beings sinzo ki kang chad lana early stage of human being savagery stage cups la human being sinzo ki discover chire dua oh this aquatic animals can be eaten landwa and they use fish for food for example nagidala missiles kaje examples chikte holo missiles lana dire missiles lana it's more of like a shell din holo lang ji ki fish type do rang din the sai go re So moving back, at the time they invented a fire by striking stone and gradually developed a cooking. Last one, they just touch his ember. Next is animal skin were used as a cloth to cover themselves. To cover themselves, right? They use animal skin skins. They painted on cave walls and on stones. They develop emotional attitudes towards their settlement areas. So the major features of the savagery age is very simple, like pet crawl symbol here. They can get thona ya put na. Like in human, or sorry, like an animal, right? People used to live in a forest, ah, and caves for shelter, wa, and um. Uh, for the survival people used to hunt animals and um, um and the clothes to cover they use an animal skins uh, bark uh leaves of the trees ra right? and um they eat like fishes for food including the crab mussels and other aquatic animals bones teeth and uh, stones were used to make tools and uh, weapons and they used to paint they, and they also uh, painted on caves and walls on a stone and at the time they have already developed an emotional attitude toward their settlement area which are the major features of the savagery stage so now next is barbarism stage or age or middle age which means agricultural age barbarism or middle age the term barbarism refers to the state of being uncivilized
you must have heard the words civilized. Civilized means um, it's more of a educative or as um, like the civilized lana understanding you got a educative they do what I can give them go look to the top of the yuki mother because you are a civilized citizen why can I see civilized in the can get can you take off as a yuki mother so uncivilized lana it's totally uh, opposite to us civilized make your country machine your later on to get However, it is an improved stage of human society in comparison to the savagery stage. In comparison to the savagery, savagery wild stage, barbarism is an improved as compared to the savagery stage. So during this stage, right, humans were domesticated by animals. Domesticated by animals, humans means domesticated, lana. Um, to take care like the ones you um domesticated means train or house train keep it as a pet like the ones you get animals in the pet and she is charged to a or the two cops learn uh starting cheer is to a domesticating chick where is reason the you're a cash lana um constant if you go for a constant hunting or a con continue hunting there is a risk that you might lose your life and they had a constant fear that uh, we do, do not want to risk that. And um, in the middle or the, in the barbarism age, they developed the, uh, they developed that we cannot kill animal or we cannot go for the constant hunting because there is a risk and um, uh, instead, but rather or instead, they developed the feeling that Nanjuki um, ina dua ni matak parish hunting the dona life is at risk, right? So we have to domesticate um, animals. Uh, so because we do the cops la domesticate nang la shy ki start chires dua domesticating chido cops la kira nang la shy nanjuk koi yena you can have. There was one thing that, that came in my mind. So, in the day, human wants are unlimited, but the resources are limited. Like, human wants do unlimited here resources. The nature of your resources are limited. Same thing, limited here to cops. If you keep on killing animals, right, it will extinct one day for sure. Ragi mare extinct chakire sa chokire lai dua lakire lai dua. Mazo ki continuously or you go ni same jee din jo state na ni chokire sro. And this something also survival shit dula. Ah, kapu chakire ra. Didu kapu la kuzo in the feelings you are dua. Oh, mazo keeps on mazo ki ah ah kala kore state na ni mazo ki shuk la state shi di kapu chaksa re land survival shit dula. Ani kuzo ki they develop the ah domesticate shi di feeling tang kuzo ki didu ah. Practice this stage saw the beginning of agriculture and metal working. So the main feature of barbarism stage are human now live in permanent settlements. They develop animal husbandry and farming. Animal husbandry means breeding and care for animals for farm animals for economy culture and uh, religious reasons is known as an animal husbandry and uh, in nepal if you if you talk about nepal nepal is uh nepal um uh, like 80% of the total, total populations are engaged in agriculture and uh, people um, domesticate animals uh, like such as uh, goats, pigs, cattle, oxen, buffaloes, chicken and dogs for different purposes. For the, either for the economy, 
either for the cultural, either for the religious reasons. For example, we are not allowed to kill cow because they are our Lakshmi in Nepali. They call it Lakshmi. They are their goddess. And but rather they pray uh, for the god Mare Kaula. So next one is they develop language, art, and kinship. Kinship means blood relations. In the barbarism stage, they have already developed their language, art, and kinship means blood relationship. Use of poetry and iron weapons were already developed and their belief in divine power. Divine means God, power and death rituals. Last stage is the civilized stage or the modern stage. This is the final and um, most developed stage of human society. The present society is the example of a civilized society with the advanced development of the al alphabet and uh, writing as well as the formations of the stage, government and city settlements in many locations after 10,000 BC, the civilized stage of society began. After the 10,000 BC, the civilized society is actually begin. This is the proper examples of the civilized or the modern societies. So the main features of the civil societies are the full development of the physical stages of the human, highly developed society and culture. We have our own culture. We have our own individual societies. Establishments of the urban settlements, urban means city settlements, development of the languages we have like uh, languages, literatures, musics and arts, development of industries, trade, modern agriculture systems, uh, where agricultures, uh, is conducted or is monitorized by the robots System, scientific inventions uh, such as like mobile phones um, laptops uh, wi-fi um, www dot world wide web bicycles tv etc and development of the information technologies these are the main features of the civilized societies. So before that, um, I would like to explain uh, in details about the main features of the civil civilized society. Civilized society, lana thanda ki ganjo ki thanda society shitwa. Like society, advancement, we have a total some advancement, but it's a science and technology age. For example, the I am recording right now, I'm recording uh, the slides which I'm gonna upload, which I'm which I'm gonna upload after a few hours, and you are in the car upload chile i'll i will up upload in a youtube right youtube ladadi khare lana this is also a invention invention lana sawa chakyo stress wa invention in a something that is totally new with one's own idea and development led wa oh inventions raised wa and kira ina ya with the help of the wi-fi that is also invention right you could or you can able to watch Inventions 
any development of science and technology, development of industries, tang manzi ki nang la sai tunga jo chang ma khon legal na inventions ki chang ko raise trade tang modern agricultural system la na kiran ki modern agriculture system ma ngu ni mention chi some so thing sang ka chi like agriculture systems tin jo la even robots tin jo ya phi ji tang ki raise draw robots tin jo robots tin jo la nang lo like like mangbo yere ro kiran ki robots nang lo thanda ka chi best ai intelligence artificial intelligence in still chi okay artificial intelligence programming chi ni robot din nang lo la human like nature nang shin ki ideas tang le pa yu ko shi ta sha re di thanda di ke ra chi sho di su la na sophia light race ro ani sophia di gi uh, she personifies the features of the artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is a life you really need dream in a personifies lana dream chisa raised So it's kind of a creepy, creepy funny race raya advancement funny raised raw. So did you put me a can give restaurant in the now um robots in the pigeon and your tongue you get it raw TV down in the now lola. अनि दिच्छु पो मेरा वा इवन इन द मेडिकल फील्ड्स नालो लालो आ समटाइम्स ह्यूमन की लापाई की काल लगो रे ऑपरेट छे लग काक पो यू क्यों दिन जो यं कशी कशी रोबोट्स की ऑपरेट छे रेस्ट वा डेवलपमेंट ऑफ़ द लैंग्वेज गंजू की लैंग्वेज के ना मंगबो यार आ दिन जो की डेवलप चाकियो तं लिटरेचर्स � Establishments of the urban societies, lana settlements, lana manzuki town areas, nzo thang ma set yarki chawra highly developed societies and cultures, ra and then full the full development of the physical stages of the humans, so manzo la jina ya physically developed chakra nzo thang ma nzo thang ma are the features of the civilized society, ra civilized society ina ta kila kya thali manzuki savagery age, barbarism and फिजिकल और दी सिविलाइज्ड और दी मॉडर्न एज का जो कोर्ट लगा हुआ है सिविलाइज्ड लाना भी दिन जो ला एजुकेटेड तंग सिविलाइज्ड लाना भी दिन जो खाने दोष खा लाव रहे खाने दोष ये लाना सिविलाइज्ड इस मोर ऑफ लाइक अ एजुकेटेड रा एजुकेटेड तंग एक्सपीरियंस तंग ह्यूमनाइज्ड in the U.S. Ra, we are not uncivilized. Civ uncivilized maring as a civilized Hindu cops lang as a little of chong tan in the YouTube. Even kiran ki surroundings tan in the lag kinik tan in the thong in a dua to a tap do tan in kiran ki kare kang tzu ni kiran ki nye ba sa yore lam ka la yu wa nje mele kash lang ay kiran ki civilized hindu Hindu cops ay kiran ra responsibilities in the U.S. Ra in kiran ki nature's tan as a ki nature tan zo la pe ke chan bure ish nature's tan animals tan tan zo la take care chan first thing thing as a animals ni chan kyo res to al chung dang di chan ma animals ni chan kyo res and we have been living with the nature for the past seven more than seven millions years ago to al ma nature nyam to tin tin man zo nyam to la relationship yo res to al that is why we have to as a ki nature's tan zo la Love chigures raw nature, love protect chigures raw. Ani nature da animals da din so me na ani human survival chedi kapu chakere thing ki dura di shini kira ngi to ni na ya. Ini mangbo chima tum na animals la kya chedo da ani nature's la surroundings da din so la plant more trees raw. Ani sang ma shai do da din so is kitchen puri thing ki dos. Lasso to the chain does run he run next I much it last way I can't do that this she go much to them and he can't love it I love you don't do this she couple don't do not do not do any a lot individual message down a d-rate one I mean I'm as a group chat like you read go much to get into tira or the long shway to share thank you